So now we will uh, discuss the implementation of uh, Bernstein-Wazirani uh, algorithm in Qiskit. And uh, I will show its simulation on uh, the simulator and hopefully on a quantum computer as well. If uh, we get, uh, you know, uh, lucky and uh, see a computer that is not uh, very aquabyte. Let me start by sharing my screen. Okay, and all right. So here's the circuit, uh, you know, that uh, I have implemented. And uh, uh, by the way, I would just, you know, like to. say that uh, many of uh, the circuits that uh, I have learned, I learned from this online resource that is very useful and uh, uh, you can go to as well. This is the introduction to quantum computing and quantum hardware uh, course that was run by IBM uh, last summer. By the way, they're running another uh, school like this this summer as well. So this has several uh, uh, labs with it on different uh, parts of them. So I essentially uh, started learning from here. So some of my notebook could also have, you know, similar names uh, like that. But I have, you know, tried to make the circuit simple so that uh, uh, it's easier to learn. So let me show it again. So this is, you can just, you know, do a Google search that introduction to quantum computing and quantum hardware course by IBM and uh, you will get a link to that. Okay, so let's start with this circuit. So I have this uh, uh, importing of uh, different, you know, libraries and NumPy. And uh, before actually I even uh, discuss it, let me do one other thing. And that is discuss how to implement the Oracle that implement this multiplication with a secret bit string S. So let's first discuss that because that's the part where there could be a slight difference, you know, from the classical computer, uh, from the Dyson's algorithm. So implementing UF phase oracle with uh, F of X is equal to X dot S. So it's actually really, really easy. All you have to do, if you have, a, let's say a bit string 101. So you need to have a circuit that does this. That, uh, let's first compute this X dot S. Let me also compute this X. So X is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. 101110111. So let's do this uh, dot product. So x dot s for this 00, zero would be 0 plus 0 plus 0. And uh, for this, it's uh, 1. For this 010, zero, zero. so this is 101, one, so this is 0. So this is 011, one, one. so this is 1. So this is 100. 100 zero, zero. One, zero, zero is 1. So 101. One. 101 is uh, 0 because 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 1 is 1, so 1 plus 1, 2, which is modulo 2, 0. So 1, 1, 0 is uh, 1 again and triple 1 is 0 again. So you see, for these inputs, this one, this one, this one, and this one, we want a circuit that gives uh, a negative phase for this. So my minus 1 power f of x, x would be like this. That this is still a zero zero state. This is a minus zero zero one. This is zero one zero, and this should be minus zero one one, and this should be minus one zero zero, and one one zero with minus sign, and this should be with plus sign. So I need a circuit that gives a phase for this, this, and this input, and. This is very easy. So you put an 
axilia qubit in minus state and then implement control x gates with respect to this 101 for example uh, this this one by the way is on the right is the first qubit so if this is q naught q1 q2 so this first bit is q naught second is q1 the last is q2 so if this is there's a one here implement a control x with respect to that if there's zero here do nothing if there's a one here implement a control x with respect to that so to implement, so this oracle implements this transformation. You can check. For example, let's check the first one. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, no control will be applicated. This minus will come as it is. 0, 0, 1. So 0, 0, 1. So this will not do anything. This will not do anything. This is 1. So this will apply an X gate. So minus will go to minus. This will get a minus sign. And that's what we should do. Similarly, 0, 1, 0 should do nothing. So 0, 1, 0 will do nothing. 0, 1, 1 should give me a negative sign. So 0, 1, 1 will give, flip it once. Let's check the last one. So this is 1, 1, 1 should be positive. So 1, 1, 1 will do an X gate twice because this, this is 1, this is 1. So this uh, will get a phase here and a phase here. So total phase would be 0 uh, because minus into minus is plus. So you see implementing an oracle that implements this multiplication with a secret bit string is really easy that uh, you just implement a control X gate with respect to the part of the bit where it's someone. Is everybody okay with this? Okay, so with this thing uh, taken care of, let's go to the circuit and show its implementation. And that's why you see that uh, uh, this is, you know, implemented uh, just like that. So I have this n is equal to three, but you can easily implement n is equal to four or five. Let's do it for four. So this is for four, let me do it like zero, one, zero, one, one. So this is the secret bit string that I have implemented. So this is the BV circuit that I'm creating. And then I have this header mart and then this part again puts the last qubit in the minus state because there's an X and header mark. And here uh, I'm, you know, uh, checking if uh, it is bit is one. If bit is one, I'm implementing this control X with respect to this uh, qubit Q. And I'm doing this in reverse, okay? Because if I just start from the left side, uh, so this would get an index zero, this left one. But since this first, uh, the qubit on the right is actually uh, the bit that should control the, the topmost of the zeroth qubit. So I'm running this, uh, you know, uh, for loop in the reverse order. I'm starting from n minus one and going to minus one. So this is actually uh, a funny way in Python. And let me discuss this thing again, because some people could be new to Python. That indexing happens in two ways. If you have a bit string uh, C, D, E, F, G. So either uh, you can work in Python with index like this, that this is zero, this, is, this has index one, this has index two, and this has index three. Or you can work it like this as well, that uh, uh, this has uh, uh, index, uh, uh, let's say, minus three, this has index minus two, this has index minus, so it has to start at minus one. So this is minus one, this is minus two, minus three. I think I'm doing it wrong. So this is minus one, this is minus two, this is minus three, this is minus four, and this is minus five. Right, Afnan? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you can start indexing from the right, but then it's minus one, this is minus two, minus three, or you can start from left and this is zero and this is one and so on. So let's go back to the notebook again. So I'm starting 
So in this case, I'm starting from n minus one, which means that uh, my n is uh, four now. So this will start from three and it will keep on decreasing. So three, two, uh, uh, and it will go all the way to minus one. And then actually I can, I think, uh, uh, implement it in a better way, but uh, let's keep it like this. And then uh, again, we have this uh, header mod at the end and the measurement at the end. So let's run it. Okay, so it's working. This is the circuit. And you can see that uh, uh, there is, uh, this was a bit string that we had, 1011. So if you start from the right, uh, it should be uh, the zeroth bit, then the first bit should have uh, a CX, the third bit, uh, nothing, and then the fourth bit, something. So this one, Okay, so this thing actually has been done in reverse. This is not the right way. So let's do it. Uh, actually, I think it would be better if we do it simply zero to n. Yes, yeah, so that's one, zero, one, one. Now it's in the opposite way. So we can start it like this. Okay. So let's start from n minus one and go to decrease by one and go all the way to zero. So it's one, zero, one, one. It's still not doing it the way I want it. Okay, so I think let's do it like this. What's the name of this bit string? S. So Q in S. If Q is one, then let me start from, you know, here. So let's define some index uh, I is equal to zero. And Over here, we do it I. And then I plus equal one. So we start from I and I is zero if is it an error? So, for, for 31 line. Okay, so there is a colon missing. Okay, one, zero, one, one. One, zero, still implementing from the left side. So we can do now in this way, n minus one, and let's solve it like this. Perfect, finally. <laughs> so I wanted the string to work like this, that if there's a one on the right, so it should start counting the bits from the right side. So this is one, so one, one, zero, one. So I have a control with respect to Q naught, one, one, zero, one. So this is the, you know, Oracle uh, that is implementing it. And uh, let's now run it. And you see this one zero one one state is being measured with one probability, uh, and this you know syntax is now pretty regular that we use in every simulation that we use cosp simulator as backend, and then uh, 
run it for uh, a few shots. So you can now see that this circuit gives the string that should uh, that was uh, the secret bit string inside the black box one zero one one in just one iteration. You can check it by running on the quantum computer as well. So let's see here and uh, let me check out which one is the least busy right now. So let's go to this table. So this Montreal, Mumbai are not available, but uh, this doesn't have the one that, uh, oh, this is one of three pages. So let's go ahead. Falcon. Q2 has 16 jobs. Uh, so we can run on Q2, but let's see if this. So Jakarta is has zero jobs. Jakarta, let's see if Jakarta is available to us. IBM Q Jakarta. So if it is not available, it will give a warning right here. Oh, it's available. So let's, no, it's not. Jakarta is not in part of my account. So let me use. Uh... Sir, Jakarta is spelling up this. Yes. Okay, not found. So J A K A R T A. So J A K A R T A. Okay. So not phone mean you know I don't have access to it. Oh okay okay. So let's run it on Kyoto. I think that's perhaps the safest bet. Okay, this is a. Uh, trouble, but let me run it anyway. By the way, so uh, uh, that result is gone. Otherwise, you could have seen that uh, uh, this one, the required one was coming with uh, one bigger peak. So we can wait for this result, but let's uh, check here if it's showing in the pending jobs. So I have this job. Okay, so let's click on this. Oh, the results is already here. So you see this, even though this is a very noisy computer, this is still giving 1011 with a very high probability. And all other uh, possible bit strings are coming with low probability. Okay, so I think today is our lucky day because uh, I was expecting that perhaps this 1011 uh, would be somewhere down and some other peaks would be higher up, but still, you know, this is a pretty good result given the noise in current quantum computers that we have. Okay, any question from anybody? I'll share this, uh, you know, uh, screen as well. So this is uh, lab five. Once fine. Okay. So let me stop recording.